Hey, Backlog Kids, and today we're going back to the 30 minute mission line. Introducing the Spinatio Army Type. That's right, folks. Finally, another 30 minute mission kit review. God, these things get really hard to come by in here. Not to mention, scalp to death. Jeez, guys, these aren't even Bandai. Also, it could be that these things are really low on stock due to the um, excessive demand. Come on, leave some for us, would ya? Good thing Bandai is working on building a new factory, so hopefully, we get better prices for these damned retail kits. Anyway, this is a Spinatio variant, so you'll probably already have an idea of what it is if you watch our Spinatio Ninja type video. Spoiler alert, this kit is awesome! Q intro. So this is the kit out of the box, and let's first check out how the base Spinatio looks. Yep, face is still ugly. Well basically, this is just a color swap, so for our soldier boy here, thank you for your service, he's going to have this olive and dark green color scheme with your usual gray frame parts. The green clear parts look really nice too. Kinda makes a glowing effect around the edges which is pretty neat. So let's put the armor on cause I'm feeling really uneasy with this guy staring at my soul. And here it is, all suited up, looking really fantastic. It really does have that military foot soldier vibe to it. I especially like the faceplate of this kit. Kinda reminds me of Solid Snake's headband but fully armored. Speaking of armor, this really is more beefy than the past armor such as the ninja and samurai type. It's also gonna be less spiky and the edge of the silhouette is more curved and soft. Something along the industrial slash militaristic mecha design. The thigh armor in particular really is gonna stick out because of the curious aesthetic. Not sure if the design is somehow used in military vehicles, but I'll let you military equipment enthusiasts in the comment sections confirm that. The color for the armor is going to be that dark olive green sticking with the soldier theme and forest camouflage scheme. And details for this kit are impeccable, as expected with the 30 minute mission line. Really great for those who are beginners that want to customize since you'll already have a very nice looking kit to kit bash. Also, speaking of customizing, this kit's going to have lots of attachment points from the 3mm holes and also a lot of C joints. So overall, aesthetics for the kit is definitely a thumbs up for me. I mean, look at that thing. Such a badass. It really is amazing how the armor differentiates the look of the kit from the other variants. Look at these two for example, the difference is night and day. For the accessories, without counting the armor, this kit's going to have a basic loadout of a rifle, shield, and combat knife. Pretty bare bones like his ninja bro, right? If only Bandai somehow had more weapons and by chance is selling it separately from this kit, like some sort of optional parts. Anyway, let's start with the assault rifle, which looks absolutely fantastic. The design is going to look like your standard assault rifle design, but man, does this thing look so sweet. Could use some sort of scope, but it looks like that's gonna be an expansion set. 
If you want to store this bad boy, you can do so by attaching it to this peg and clamp connector and snap it to any of the C joints. Next, we take a look at the shield which looks to be a small riot shield. It has a peg as an attachment point so you could easily plug this in the arm or at the back for a stored look. And lastly, let's take a look at the huge combat knife. And you know what? I dig the design. I can really imagine this mech going through the forest and cutting up some vines to pave way Rambo style. Wish it could attach to the face though, like those full metal panic kits. Man, I wish they'd reprint those. Anyway, this also has a peg so you could store it anywhere you can plug it into. By the way, this Spinatio also comes with open hands which are great for posing. So overall, pretty decent amount of accessories that come with pretty awesome designs. Definitely looking forward to the expansion parts this variant is going to receive in the future. For articulation, it's going to be the same as the ninja type so if you're wondering how possible this kit is, the short answer is very possible. And if you want to see the nitty gritty, head on to our previous Spinatio video. Same with the size comparison and really, it's just the same as the ninja type. So yeah, check out that video if you'd like to see the comparison. And let's just dedicate these segments to some kit bash ideas. So overall, the Spinatio army type is an amazing looking kit. Aesthetics, possibility, badassery, this kit has them all. If you like a more realistic mech and you're a fan of the grunt looking foot soldiers, grab at least one of these. Definitely a good pickup with a nice price of 1408 yen. Hopefully you can grab one that's not overpriced as these kits tend to be out of stock due to the high demand. I mean, seriously. People buy these in squads. Well, I guess Bandai's marketing strategy for this line is really working. Plus, their designs are all really great too. Have you guys seen the upcoming 30 minute mission kits? Just awesome designs. I'm really interested in the night variant of the Spinatio line. Wonder if it's metallic injection or gold. Anyways, Spinatio army type, big fat recommendation from Backlog Kits. So that's it for the review. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a down. And let us know why in the comment sections. Consider subscribing if you like what we do. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you won't miss a video. If you really enjoyed our video and wanted to support our channel's growth, come join our Patreon and help fuel Backlog Kids editor with coffee. Join us again next time for another Backlog Kids review. Oh, you're still here? Thanks for being a champ and staying all the way to the end. If you like this video, why don't you check out another 30 minute mission kit review over here. Be enlightened my brothers and sisters. This is the way. <laughs>